especially when you get to Gigi Tony the news. <laughs> a lot of enthusiasm down on the street, Robin and Georgia. Good morning. This video is on YouTube, so we cannot verify its authenticity. We can't also say... Kelsey Garver wears a dress! I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Casey's dead! I'm sorry, guys, there for... Kelsey Garver wears a dress! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Coming up tonight at 6, we talk to someone who knows a little something about tourism, the head guy at the Carnegie Deli, one of the most time-honored tourist spots. Christina and Dick, you betcha. Hey, you got a friend back there, yeah. too. Those pens, you will not be able to leave Bubba unless there is an emergency. I'm your time caller, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2. And I never say that about viewers because we want them to watch. Thank you, dear friend. Great pleasure. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Yeah. You got it. I was okay. that close from missing that guy. Darn it. Still ahead. I've gathered to celebrate his remarkable life on the 30th anniversary boy, of his tragic penis. death. Boy, coming penis. together. Penis, coming penis, up next. Penis. Act 100 Sandy victims and heroes are inside MSG right now being treated to the show. It's all part of a reminder that this show is for those still suffering from Sandy. We're live outside MSG boy, boy, tonight. Boy, boy, Jessica Snyder, penis. CBS News. Okay, Jessica. Departures later in the morning, maybe some delays because that involves getting this staff in place. We're, we've got someone trying to disturb the shot, so we're going to go off of this right now. You know, at Phillips, we like to use Times Square as a real showcase for our new technology, and, and this year we've converted the entire platform to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. The German automaker calling it the sports car of the future. Joining me tonight, Jose Guerrero. He's the product manager for BMI. We've got, we've got uh, uh, somebody yelling in my ear here. Jose, thanks for being here. No problem. So we're going to talk about the car. Let's take a look at this vehicle. For, for people who don't know, Gracie Mansion is the official home of New York City's mayor. And tonight, a rare event for New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, because he is going to be officiating at the wedding of two staffers, his chief policy advisor Bobby, 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 and the head of Cuban Affairs. Bobby, 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 okay. Yeah. Well, we got someone who's joined us momentarily, thanks, but he's walked away now. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, Susan, we'll get back with you. Thanks so much. On right now, Mary, we're in the Woods Village with the Mobile Weather Lab, and we have many people basically using the information out of the, the, the truck. What we've done is pulled up the Con Ed outages map. So many people... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, Ah, All right, guys, let's yeah. send back to you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. For a while tonight, the threat of a strike is no longer hanging over Long Island and New York City. Both parties came to an agreement today with a handshake, but they had some help. Mix 11's Greg Mocker, that is, excuse me, live at Penn Station. Greg, I do know your name. Uh, it has been a long day for everybody, uh, especially uh, as you've been making plans. People are talking about what they might have done, so it is kind of an air of relief here at Penn Station and across all the boroughs and oh, certainly boy, all boy, across boy, all of the... Boy, boy, boy. All right, we'll get back to Greg later when it gets a little better. Yeah. Now we're still awaiting word from the NYPD about this arrest and about the videos that were recorded of this arrest. We can say this though, this involved apparently a minor crime. Fair jumping, someone trying to get in the subway Bobby, station Bobby, Bobby, without... Penis. Jenny's got a girlfriend! Hi, Pete, Jerry! Back. All right, James, thank you very much. We You're watching the Pix 11 News at 5 with Tansy Fidel and John Muller. All right, uh, take a look at this, a live shot over Union Square where crowds are growing on this May Day. Uh, a lot of people gathered there now, that's for sure, and we are certainly keeping an eye on the situation. Thanks for sticking with us. For the Pix 11 News at 5, I'm Tamsin Fidel. I'm John Muller. Today's protests and rallies will take over city streets tonight, but many will focus their attention on the Freddie Gray case. Six officers under arrest for what is being called by the lead prosecutor an illegal arrest. Three of those officers are charged with manslaughter. One of them is charged with second degree murder. Six Eleven's Carolyn Costello, live at Union Square, where hundreds are gathering right now. Carolyn. 
John and Tamsin, it is a pretty sizable crowd out here. At our last check, there were about 350 people out here, but this crowd is growing. The traditional May Day uh, parades and protests around the city taking on a broader meaning, focusing uh, on... Bubba Bowie, how it's done, Venus, yeah! Give them a race so you can get cable. Guys, a little interference there. Uh, nevertheless, Carolyn Costello there at Union Square. We this new report, Kevin Rich is alive at Union Square with new information. Kimberly. Oh, what a story Kareem Grattan has to tell. It's a tale that came to a glorious ending here this morning in Union Square after a woman riding the number four straight. Oh, boy, oh, boy. How is this Venus? Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, Robin Quiver's green juice, yeah! I, 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 I love to. Don't you love it? You love Howard Stern. Because everybody has gone home. Check it out. It's coming down pretty steadily now in New York City, and it's now changed over to snow, and that rain snow line is not coming back Baba into Booey, New York Howard City, so we're definitely looking. We are definitely looking at a snowstorm here going forward. All right, let's check out our temperatures. 33 degrees right now. Sometimes the snow can make you a little nuts. 33 degrees and a wind that's gusting out of the northeast around 30 miles an hour. The feel-like reading is about 22 degrees as we steer on. Look at the weather radar, radar right now. As you see, the heavy rain along the coast and all the white inland right now. You know what, guys? I'm going to send it back to you and I'll come right back here. Just want to take care of the situation out here and we'll finish up in just a moment. David, Liz, back to you for now. All right, Lee, thanks a lot. We're going to... Say it just it looks like it clouded up just a few minutes ago and a little worse because we've been had hinge tonight right yeah. no no, no. It just, just a one cloud for shade for me for my weather hit i was oh, a little okay. hot so a little shade, and then it's, it's going to clear right away. Do you know Manhattan has really got spoiled the last minute right. last year? It will not this year. We're in good shape. Okay. Bubba Booey, how it stirs penis! All right, guys. Bubba Booey! All right, all right. Well, we all apologize uh, for that guy in the background there. You know, I probably it's a good idea that we take uh, a break from the weather right now for just a moment and clear that up in the mess there. Yeah. Right now, we've got a lot of sunshine. It is hot. I will say this. The humidity is more of a moderate side. That's why the feel-like readings are very close to the actual temperature. Let's check it out right now. Oh, no. All right, thank you, Lee. A bit of uh, technical difficulties yeah, there. Some issues outside on the street there. We apologize for that. We're going to... Baba Booey, 25 years of Baba Booey! Baba Booey! Yeah! Yeah, Baba Booey! 25 years of Baba Booey! At midnight here in Times Square this year, it will be much smaller this year. Baba Booey! Yeah! I love this guy! Alright! So there you go. Uh, where was I? Yeah, 35 degrees at midnight this year, so it's going to be cold here in Times Square, but it's still going to be a great party. You can talk a little bit more about this is Tim Tompkins. He's the president of the Times Square Alliance. So, um, Tim, thank you for joining us. Tell me, besides dressing warmly, what else do people need to know if they plan to come here tonight? They need to know that they need to come here and, you know, not bring a bag because it's uh, the, the police will slow them down just to keep it simple and to be ready for a night of great entertainment. And come early, right? What goes into planning the world's biggest New Year's Eve party? It's really just checking that everything's coordinated and that everything's working because when you have a billion people watching, you really don't want to mess it up. And you, you have this great reference to the fiscal oh, cliff, boy, right? Penis. Jimmy Kimmel speaks! Sir, so... Yes. Hey, he's a sorry, what... Oh, jeez. We, we obviously have a little bit of a distraction here, but but I can tell you, thank you very much, Tim Tompkins. Uh, but for the distraction, hopefully there won't be any of that tonight. Here's what I what it's I, I want to say. Just for both. <laughs> I can tell you, in my nearly nine years at CNN, that has never happened to me. But one thing I do want to point out before before I let you go is that uh, <laughs> he just won't stop. All right. One thing that I do. <laughs> One thing that I want to tell you, but I want to get in before I let you go, is that 26% of people... <laughs> does, he, does he have a microphone, Alina? Is he actually my voice? Alina, we're going we're gonna to let you go. Uh, we're doing this. <laughs> We don't have a Jimmy Kimmel fan. Is he yelling? He's yelling to my Jimmy Kimmel? Something about Jimmy Kimmel. I don't know. This guy 
guy's got a voice. We need to hire him. <laughs> the, Lehman Brothers, Thank you. the Lehman Brothers failed. There were these two guys who started kissing, remember? I remember oh, very clearly. Geez. They weren't, to describe them as kissing would be an understatement. Right. Well, I think they were Howard Stern, Howard Stern That's, people. Okay. You know, anyway. But they were doing more the than last. kissing. <laughs> At a starting point. Now we're talking about stripping. To watch the ball drop. Here's a live look, and there are already some folks gathering for a good spot. Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Gonzalez is in the heart of all of it. Marcy, you've been there since this morning. Have you seen the crowds grow? Yeah, Lori, it's amazing. It's already like a party out here. Take a look. Already thousands of people camped out. They're waiting for the great performances on this stage. So much energy and still 12 hours to go. The barricades are up, the police are on standby, and the crowds are already staking out their spot. And our apologies for that a little bit earlier. I guess there are a few in every crowd, but everyone else here behaving, having a great time. Now, if you want to come out and be a part of all of this action, but maybe you're not brave enough to want to be in one of these pens all day without access to a bathroom, well, they're extending the party on Broadway all the way to 59th Street. They'll have screens and speakers set up so you can enjoy the party and you can roam around with a little more freedom. We're live in Times Square. Marcy Gonzalez, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Yeah, you handle it well. Thank you, Marcy. And you can watch New Year's Rock and Eve starting at 8 o'clock with a tribute to Dick Clark. Arc, followed by many performances right here on Channel Well, while we've been caught up counting down to the fiscal cliff, there is a more fun countdown that's going on today. And tonight, more than a million people will gather in Times Square to ring in the new year. And the big party means big cash with millions of dollars expected to be generated for local New York City businesses. Lauren Simonetti is with some of her new friends down there in Times Square. <laughs> Lauren's with the Fox Business Network, and she joins us now. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Rick, it turns out you have a microphone. You become really popular. Look, it's starting to get really busy here in Times Square. If you can see behind me past all of these people, uh, they actually started to close off the streets. Oh, oh. They missed the cue. All right, we're Robert doing Bowie, Howard Stern penis. All right. Penis. All right, so Robert they started Cruz they started penis. to penis. Howard Stern's penis. They started to uh, close off the streets behind me, and people are pushing really close, and they'll start to go in at 3 p.m., so just a couple of minutes from now. And then at 6 o'clock, that iconic ball is going to go all the way up, pushed by the CEO of Philips Lighting. And then it, of course, falls down right at midnight, and we signal 2013. Now, all of these crazy people behind me are expected to spend, get this, $25 million. That's <laughs> Back to you, Rick. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Lauren. I think you just made the Howard Stern Show, and I wonder uh, exactly how the gentleman who was shouting behind Lauren, and we apologize if anybody was offended by yeah, that. Yeah, I, I couldn't hear anything. That was pretty... That's okay. Uh, it, it happens. Shots. Come on, we've all been there. <laughs> it happens to the, to the best of us. Yeah. You handled it well. Hey, uh, before we let you go, Lauren, how many apple carts are you uh, standing <laughs> oh, on right no, now? Because right. Lauren Simonetti is oh, actually about one, this but tall. Just one, it's a big one. Just one I'm big five one? Foot word, layers, is what you will need. We were here yesterday, and we were talking to the folks, and they are getting excited, and they're not letting the weather stop them. A brutal freeze is gripping the eastern half of the country in the final hours of 2013. It's a cold day, but it's a fun day. Right, right now, security's tight. Tim has his spot picked out for tonight. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Ken. You can feel the excitement already. Well, kind of. There's just nobody here with me. All my rowdy friends will be coming a little bit later. They are expected for the big ball drop tonight. More than a million people. Oh, boy, oh, now, good. they've also yeah. got... Of, uh, rowdy people here already. Anyway, they've got security in the area. It's going to be very tight when they shut things down at 3 o'clock this morning, or 3 o'clock this afternoon, I should say. They're going to have pins. You're going to be able to go into those pins. They'll be, uh, I'm not going to stay here. <laughs> very, very serious out here. Yeah, I ditched the glasses because I want to maintain a shred of credibility this morning. I don't, I don't know. And the, the glasses just don't. The glasses just don't scream credible to me. I don't know. Call me crazy. I want to show you. Howard Stern penis. I still love this guy. Well, he makes his return again. Um, I want to show you actually some of the crowds that have. Lovely. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hang on for a second out before we go. Well, well, you know, the guys, it's live. Oh yeah, it's live television, and you know it happens, and it's New Year's Eve.